Hey, Shalom. 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 Hey, all praises to Yahweh. Hey, double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you and Sir Brother's teaching in truth and in sincerity. All right. America will be destroyed. Okay. Right. America is the final burnt offering. All right. America is the last holocaust. All right. We're going to prove that in the spirit. All right, you got those books, God. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 20. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings. All right, and that's, and that's the point. Burnt offering. All right, burnt offering is the point. Now remember, America is that final burnt offering. Now, get a uh, burnt offering in uh, burnt offering in the Mm -hmm. Whole burnt offering. Whole burnt offering. Meaning what? America will be burned completely. Whole. Go ahead. It says ascent. Mm -hmm. Stairway. Mm -hmm. Steps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to the strong definition. Strong. In the strong, it says a step of collecting stairs. As ascending. Mm -hmm. Usually a holocaust. Usually a holocaust. All right. So America is the real holocaust. All right, America, and then when you go into that term Holocaust, what does it mean? To be burned completely. All right, so America is that final burnt offering. America is that last Holocaust. All right? Y'all got some free stuff? All right, let's go. All right, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah 49, verse 13. And it says, For I have sworn by myself, said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that Basra should become a desolation, a reproach, a waste. And read that again. Right. Jeremiah 49, 13. Right. For I have sworn by myself said, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, right. that Basra should become a desolation. Basra. Now, what is modern day Basra? When you go into that term modern, it means just now. All right, so Basra of today would be America. But read it one more time. Right. For I have sworn by myself right. said, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, that Basra should become a desolation. A desolation meaning what? You could apply a burnt offering or a holocaust to that desolation. When you go into that term desolation, what does it mean? Um, utterly destroyed. How so? Nuclear fire. Mm -hmm. Now, one more point. Get, uh, get Isaiah 1 and 9. 1 and 9. Now, when you go into that term nomen omen, what does it mean? Name prediction. All right, so Nomen Omen is a name prediction. All right, now what? America has also been likened to Sodom. America has also been likened to Gomorrah from a spiritual sense. All right, now, put that, bro. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. It said, the Lord of hosts have left unto us a small remnant. A small remnant. All right, now what's the remnant? The elect. All right, now we just did a lesson uh, last week regarding the remnant. Now, think about this. The Mosai is going, the Mosai is going to divide two-thirds with the act of judgment. So you know how you have that little division line? Hey, under that division line, you have two-thirds. But to the side, it's being divided by what? The judgment. And what's going to be on top? The elect. So just like 18 divided by 6 is 3. And when the Mosai divides, um, when, <laughs> when the Mosai divides, um, the, yeah, none, the, the none elect divided by the judgment, you're going to have the elect. That's the remaining on top. And when you go into um, that term remnant, it also means a survivor. So who are going to be the survivors of this final holocaust? Who is going to be the survivors of this burnt offering? The remnant, man. Right. Beginning with the government body, the 144,000, which is also spread throughout the four corners of the world. But the main hub is where? Modern day Basra, right. America, that burnt offering. God. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. Right. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, Ooh. the beauty of the child, these excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, you can't get around that. So, how did the Most High overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah? How? How? 
you give your mouth for you. Revelation 17 and 16. Let's go, let's go. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. Now what's the ten horns? That is symbolic for what? The EU. The EU. But what did they do? They added 27 to 28 countries to do what? To offset prophets. All right. All right. Go ahead. And it says, these shall hate the whore. These shall hate the whore. Who's the whore? America. America is a fucking whore. Okay, now how did, how she's a whore? Because basically she makes these other countries leave their lifestyle, leave their mannerisms, and come to her. All right, and now they have been affected by what that doctrine, that defiled doctrine, democracy. that democracy, Christianity, the fucking American dream. Go ahead, bro. And she'll make her desolate. And she'll make her desolate, going into what that final Holocaust, that last burnt offering. Go ahead. And naked. And naked, and that's literal. All right, if you're destroyed, you're, you're fucking naked. Okay, go ahead. And shall eat her flesh. And shall eat her flesh. How so? By these plagues. Plagues goes into what? Judgment and curses. So this whore is cursed for being a fucking whore, man. Go ahead. And burn her with fire. And burn her with fire. Nothing is new under the sun. Now, go back to... Um, okay, now go back to um, Isaiah 1 6. She got this on the side. God, this, uh, Isaiah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, Isaiah verse 9, except the void of hosts, uh, so like, except the void of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been light unto the morrow. Okay, we can hear Isaiah 1 and 9, it said, except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, right. we should have been as Sodom, and we shall bend light unto the wall. Key point. So America is spiritually linked to Sodom and Gomorrah. More proof. It's uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Israelites. All right, go ahead. The great city is what? America, not the Vatican. It's America. All right, go ahead. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So now think about this. In order to understand this, it states spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. When you go into that term, spiritually in the Greek, what does it mean? To be assisted by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the Most High has to illuminate you to understand that America is spiritually Sodom, America is spiritually Egypt, America is spiritually uh, Gomorrah, Bosnia, and etc. All right, it's all spiritual talk. You see it though. You see it. Yeah. Like, 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 a bunch of homosexuals in New Orleans. You go to uh, uh, San Francisco, a bunch of homosexuals. You see, like, how it's out of Sodom. You know what I mean? It's the other city. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, Tennessee. And Tennessee is a lot of the pyramids. San Francisco is a lot of You see the, the, the uh, attributes of Sodom and Egypt. You see how, how everything happened? It happened then, but it's the same shit happened then, happened now. Right. It's the same, um, same spirit. And let's move there. Just one, one quick point. I guess Sodom in the uh, Hebrew. I guess uh, Sodom, um, Isaiah 1 and 9. Right. It says burning. Burning. So Sodom means burning. What happened to the first Sodom? It was burned. What's happened to the, what's going to happen to the second Sodom? That's spiritually known as America. It's going to be, it's burning. It's burning. It's burning. That's a nomen, omen, name and prediction within the spirit that America will be destroyed by what? Nuclear fire. That's why America is spiritually known as Sodom. Yeah. It means what, bro? Burning. Now get Gamora. Get Gamora too, man. Get Gamora, man. Gamora goes into uh, submersion. Submersion, which means what? Break that down. Under, I would have to say, the twin city, the evil with Sodom, both destroyed and judgment. Now, now, when you go into that term, um, submerge, it means to be, to sink out of place. To sink out of place. How so? Nuclear destruction. Once America is hit, it's going to be sink out of place. So Gomorrah means what? To be submerged under. America will be submerged under by what? Nuclear fire. Submarine, yeah. Submarine sinks from the top to the bottom. See, it emerges under the water. Yep. America will be emerging from fire. That's right. Like the niggas in Chicago and the kingdom will be smoking on America. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we said. Yeah, come on. Get real quick, they're going back. 
back his brother is going back to dealing with these uh, CDs of former customs. They plan out in his perfection in his lifetime. Uh, this is 2 Peter 2 and 5, no, verse 6. It says, in turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow. Hey, that's America. That's what's going to happen to America. America has been what linked through the spirit as Sodom and Gomorrah. And why was Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed? Because of bestiality, right. homosexuality. All right, their mannerisms was against the standard of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it there. Yeah, make an example. Yeah, that's it. Not to, not to be like the same shit happened then. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, they, they let you know an example. Let you know it's about to happen again. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, making them an example unto those that after. Making them an example to those that are after. What else? What else? Yeah. Live, yeah. my God. And so what happens? See, America has to get hit with that same technique. Right. All right, that same shit. You know what I'm saying? For living on God. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Right. Like you, have, uh, 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 you know, you have your, your uh, judicial system, right? Right. It's not just one motherfucker go to jail under murder. <laughs> the murder yeah. charge is set up as a standard. That's right. Whoever commit that offense, they die. They, 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 they are committed you know, uh, convicted under that jurisdiction. That's right. So the Lord, they have to go back and adjust the punishment. <laughs> Yeah. Same punishment you have to start in the morning. Mm -hmm. You come back and you commit them offenses. Right. You're going to jail to them. <laughs> and Junior. <Yeah. laughs> you're going to jail to them. 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 you same word pop up, submerged. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, you submerged yeah. under the water. Yeah. See, you America's know? going to be also the same thing. Yeah, and go. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's that example. He says, as an example, those who are pretty much near wicked, man, right? Yeah. Which yeah. was that fight. Yeah. So he was letting you know at this time that that's the same concept for America. Yeah. It will be yeah. fired. Yeah. So that was the heads up. So, I mean, if you're not hearkening and paying attention, or, or, or uh, trying to live right to man, that's what's gonna happen, man. Because it's not gonna be, you know what I'm saying, just uh, uh, individuals, man. Like the uh, uh, brother saying, if you fall under that umbrella of that particular law or that standard that your house should not have, but you're not obeying it, man, you're gonna get caught up in that same uh, judgment. Man. Right. And, 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 and say, my brother, they use, they use Obama. Oh, I love it. I people. Yeah. Obama, you know my, you know my, you know my fucking people. Bum, you're not my fucking people. Hey, tell you though, you're not my people. They use you to push the law on, on my people. You do it on my people. Push the law on my people, and, I, and my people like they ran that. They ran that shit like it's it easy. You get, get, you get not it. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker, I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they ran that like they ran that. I they ran that shit like it's it, 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 nothing. Yeah. yeah. No, it, 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 it's easy now. See, you gotta, you gotta think about this though, bro. Now, yeah, yeah, we, we gonna get it. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. Hey, but you think about Nas X. Hey, um, like the blue letter. Get, um, uh, get Nas. Get Nas and, uh, get Nas and, um, and Auntie Mo. Get, um, get Genesis. The third, the second chapter, when it talks about the nostril, uh -huh. right, hey, what you got? Get on, um, how you all shot blue breath. Yup, yup, yup. Nas X. Mm -hmm. See, Nas X is doing what? He's pushing a philosophy right. on our people. All right, he's been set up to push this wayward doctrine on our people, which is what? Boy love. Yeah. And what me and I to say is those boy, boy love. love. Boy love. Exactly. All right? All right, so we gonna get that now. We gonna get Nas X. Yeah, yeah. What you say, bro? Yeah. Yeah. You got it, bro. So there's men in one of them. Some nigga was in a breathing machine. Got it. No, that's what he said. He was breathing on the table. That's just going on without a thing, man. And because I like the brother said, this is the perfection. This is the excellency. Of uh, those, yeah, the wickedness, that's it, yeah. Which is on display in the form of kingdom. 
with uh, when you read Exodus the fifteen chapter, the Lord is a man of war. Right. So whatever kingdom uh, you set up, if it's not under the guise of the decrees of the heaven, then that is the war. You just wage war against the power that's hiding in itself. Right? Well, how much more Esau saw his nose up at the kingdom of the house of the And that's why even if you never shoot from the hill, we, we all do something. We didn't even have a scripture. You should be able to come to the conclusion that something will happen. Okay, so so Nas goes into the root word of what? What? Nares. But so Nas goes into Nares, and what's your Nares? It's your nostrils. All right, now, what's symbolic for your nostrils? Breath. Your breath. Breath. So Esau is utilizing Nas X to push this wayward doctrine on our people. Breath is what? A philosophy. A way of life, a standard. All right, now, get Genesis on. Get that to prove that. No. No. Not even. Yeah? Hey, you want to read that out? Yeah, I said no defense is not even. Right. Right. The breath is actually, hey, your nose is symbolic for containing the breath. Nas has been used by the elite basically to push this way with God. Like, you get know, Genesis, bro. It makes sense. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Right. And the Lord power for a man of the dust of the ground. Now, this man is talking about what? Adam. Okay, go ahead. And breathe into his nostrils. And breathe into his nostrils. Breathe what? The breath of life. The breath of life. So Nas is pushing what? The breath of death. Okay? Ooh. By his songs. All right, read that again, though. Now, it says, And the Lord power for a man out of the dust of the ground. Right. And breathe into his nostrils. And breathe, breathe into his nostrils. His nares. Go ahead. The breath of life. The breath of life. Which is what? Hey, this doctrine. All right? The law, statutes, and the commandments. And at this time frame, it was in an oral format. Now, get that, uh, Scott. One of my favorite scriptures. What y'all trying to do for? Oh, okay. And this book of Judges, twenty and uh, twenty-five. Right. Yeah. Hey, you read out this while you Okay. Read. Now, this that this is X. Right. On the Edomite. Right. It says cross out. Right. With an X. Hey, so X Ooh. means what? To cross out. Another term, what? Crucify. All right. So X means cross out. Cross out what? The breath. So literally from a spiritual standpoint, Nas is trying to uh, make you go against your how about Shem Cross out the nose, cross out the, 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 the breath. That's it's all symbolic. Huh? Now read that. Bring that back, bro. So Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight, real top. Right. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Right. Great city. Right. The spirits is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, go ahead. Where also our Lord was crucified. Hey, your house shall was crucified. How so? From a philosophy, from philosophy, the doctrine of Christianity. He's crucified. How so? Hey, when you go to him, when you go to him, how he looks in Revelation, the first chapter, it doesn't look like basically that concept of a uh, Caesar. Bonjour. Yeah, he's been crucified over here. All right, so basically, this is an example of X stop. And now Nas is doing the same thing with um, the philosophies that he has been pushing with the agenda for the elite. That's it. I don't know, give me one, one more. Get that. This is uh, the book of John, 20 and 20, uh, 2. It says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. This is what? Symbolic for your own side, giving them the Holy Spirit, giving them this doctrine. He did what? He breathed on them. How do you so he really did this from a physical standpoint? He breathed on them using what? His nose and his mouth. His nose and his mouth. Going into what? Nares your nostrils. Okay? Nas X. It's all symbolic talk. Alright, yes, sir. Yeah, I got some. I, this is Hosea 4 and 1. Hit the word. Of the Most High, he treated of Israel for the Most High to come to verse with the land, it's like with the inhabitants of the land, because there's no truth, no knowledge, 
no, no, not of the most side of the land. Break that down. And, and, and basically, like the people, the people in, the, in this state, in this world, don't know the, the true image of Yahabashai. Look, they know. They don't, they don't know this image. They know. They know this image. They don't know the judgment. They don't, they don't know the statutes. They don't know about the law, though. Yeah. Because if, 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 if you knew about, if they knew about how the real law really about, they want to do shit they do, though. If, if the law tell you don't eat fucking pork, motherfuckers don't eat pork. But guess what? The, the people that run the world told everybody, you eat pork, you shit cool. It's coming it's shrimp, it's cool. You eat lobster, it's cool. But guess what? The law go judge it. Go judge this place because guess what? It's no knowledge. It's no truth. It, 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 it's, it's nothing true of, 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 about about this this whole world. You've been lied to. You've been you've been you've been, 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 been fucked over the whole life. <laughs> so so guess what? The Lord gonna judge this place. What do we do though? Mm -hmm. Hey, since you said that, hey, go get one of those forty and ten. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Revelation 22. Uh, Revelation 20, verse 10. Right. And the devil that deceived them. The devil that deceived them. Who runs the world? The devil. The nobility of him. All right, they control this entire system. Now, people are deceived, meaning what? They have led the entire world into error. When you look that up in uh, the Greek, so the seed means what? To be led into error. Error to sin. Sin promotes what? Death. All right, just like the brother said, they're pushing on the forefront with these so-called leaders of our um, um, heritage, per se, to what? To do the bidding for the elite babies. As it says, the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they're going to error. They see that. Now you got to think about it. Like Esau, Edom, you gotta look at we like the superheroes on this planet, man. So what's our kryptonite? Break the law, statutes, and commandments. So he saw he knows our kryptonite. And when we go out, that's how it goes into the wages of sin is dealt as a people, you know? That's why we in this whole predicament as a people in today's time. And, and, and it's all directed toward the nation of Israel, man. All these other nations, they're collateral damage, man. They don't really give a fuck about them, man. They have to kill off their own to get to the nation of Israel to have us to go off, man. They're going to do it, man. Because this this is all about Jacob and Esau, man. And he, he woke the birthright that he thought was here was never was in, in the beginning, man. Because it was ordained for Israel off the top. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's... This devil is like like that scripture say he's gonna be like a madman sparing none, and that's his people, the other nations or whatever. Anybody is in the way of him uh, uh, getting his new world order and, and uh, getting to the nation of Israel to destroy him because he wants to destroy Israel completely, man. That's like when uh uh, uh when Nebuchadnezzar when he was trying to kill all the children, man, the male Israelites to try to get to your house shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Cuss him. He wanted to do Herod, Salaki, Herod. He want, they, they want to do the same thing now, man. He want to destroy all Israel to try to get this birthright, man. Mm -hmm. What he started though, the mention, the report they came. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that way kicked it up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everything repeated though. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's and that, that, mm -hmm. uh, that really, mm -hmm. in the ancient profession, goes into the elites versus the elect. That's why I said Jacob, the wealthy tent, man, that's the house of David. He said, he saw the wealth in the field. That's profane, outside of the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, so prophecy stems all the way back to the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And those are the two main entities that bust the head right now. Yeah. The reason why so much turmoil, everything you feel, the energy stirred up, you know, this small activity, the media, you can't sleep. <laughs> you know, you and your old lady bust the head, you find yourself to be more and more comfortable. That's because there's a spiritual fight going on, man. That's affecting this, 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 this the seeds of what um raising and tossing and turning. That's in uh Luke the first chapter. Mm -hmm. And you have a sound on the way back. It's uh, it's, uh, Romans 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of the most time to the lie? Mm -hmm. 
and worship and serve the creature right. more than the creator, right. who is blessed oh. forever. Amen. Hey, and then this, go ahead and go ahead. No, that means so uh, the God of this world has blinded them. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw evil, man. Mm -hmm. And we read that again, bro? This is Romans 1 and 25. You stop and then walk over. Try to break this shit down and go home. Romans 1 and 25. We change the truth of the most high to a lie and worship and serve the creature. Hey, like the priest said, hey, easy motherfucking ease. Because he controls this entire system right now, man. Esau, go ahead. And worship a certain creature more than the creator. Yeah, you got niggas talking about the fucking universe and shit, man. Why would you? That's like me buying a car and I'm worshiping the car. Fuck, the car should worship me. You know, hey, get, get, song, get that song from the Yeah, 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 get that, get that. This is the book Psalm 57 and 6. Right. They have prepared a net for my steps. They have prepared who? The, the nobility of Eden. Go ahead. My soul is bowed down. Right. They have been a pit for me. Right. Into the midst. And that pit is actually talking about this system. Go ahead. In, into the midst where they are falling themselves. So meaning, so meaning what? They are falling themselves. So the most sign is going to be burst the boom trap, right? Now, hey, read that one more time. Get nicked. Right. Get nicked. Psalm 57 and 6. Because Shekinah made a good point about how you said these so-called leaders teach about people to earn, which is going to sin. And read that one more time. Right. It said, they are prepared yeah, a net for my steps. All right, that's right. Now, nah, get net, bro. Right, the Hebrew word for net uh, is rishah. Rishah. Yep. Go ahead. It says, uh, for catching. Right. For catching. Go ahead. Of judgment. Of judgment. Go ahead. Of leaders leading people to sin. Of leaders leading people to sin. So now you got Jay-Z talking about do as thou will. Now you got Nas X pushing this homosexual bullshit. Hey, this fulfills prophecy, man. All right, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, this Psalm 62, hey, and, and uh, 4, they only suck and cast him down from his excessively, excessively. They delight in lies. That's Esau. And, and guess what Esau did back in the um, in the garden? He used Eve. Right. He used Eve. Adam had a kingdom. All right, and guess what? He was jealous of Adam's kingdom, and what did he do? He set his heart against him, the weaker vessel, because he couldn't have came at um, Adam with that bullshit. So what did he do? He utilized Adam's glory. All right, go ahead. Look, they blessed with their mouth, but they, they cursed inward. That's right, because at the end of the day, Esau they wants done. that birthright back. All right, hey, this, this reset, this so-called new world order, is all about attaining that birthright. All right, going back into what? Genesis the 27th chapter. When Isaac gave him a birthright, and that's another thing. That's how you know that Isaac was Yahweh Shah because Isaac was able to give Esau a dominion right. or a kingdom, which was actually classified in the scriptures as a blessing, a global domination. Yup, yup. Tell him, bro. King of kings. King of kings. Yup, king of kings, Isaac. It's our wisdom, Solomon 2 and 23. The most I created man to be immortal and made him to be a, 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 an image of his intent, uh, eternity. Right, right. So and guess what? When Adam was created, talk about Adam, right? So Adam was created in an image, but guess what? He come perfected. That's, what, that's how you also know that Yahweh Shah was also Adam because the second Adam. So, hey, you know what? Hey, get that. Um, get that second Adam. Get the second album. Just you can put something. Second album. Hey, read that again, though, bro. Okay. Um, read again. Um, Wisdom Solomon 2 and 23. For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. 24. Nevertheless, the envy of the devil came down right. into the world. Hey, that's it. Dude, the envy of the devil. Who's the devil? The, the devil's physical counterpart is who? Esau. Esau is the wicked, the so-called white man based on the lineage of his father, or their father. All right? Did my head that second one? Yeah. So they give me that. Yeah, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45. It says, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Right. The last Adam, 
was made of quickening spirit. Quickening spirit. So Yahweh Shai is who? Also Adam. But this time as Yahweh Shai, now he's that complete, perfect image. And what is Yahweh Shai's image? The image is of what the Hebrews want to do. Adam perfected. This is the book of Hebrews 1 and 3. Right. Who bear the brightness of his glory right. in the express image. Express image. Who? Yahweh Shah is the express image of who? Our Father Yahweh. When you go into that term express in the Greek, express image, it means facsimile. All right? And when you break that term down, it means the exact copy. So he looked like his father on earth, and also he did what his father would do in the spirit. That's why the Most High uh, basically announced to him, this is my son, who am I well pleased. He was that perfect image. And let me tell you, see me and see the father. Right. That's why he was stated, uh, I am my father. Okay. Right, right. And, and that's also the reason why Yahweh Shah had what? Great hand and great beard. Mm -hmm. He was also stressed, but he had to also be the express image of our Father Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Now see, now think about this. When we get those new bodies, we ain't age forever young. We'll never age. How you know is you go into the book of uh, Ezra, it talks about this young man mm -hmm. that he seen. Yahweh Shah didn't have no great beard yeah. that time. He was blacked out, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. Go ahead, go ahead. John, John, John. Son, John 14 and 7. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. Yo, so, how was shy at this time? He was the perfection of the image of the father. You see? And that's what this thing was about. Like every reincarnation, how was shy came in, going back to Adam, Isaac, Solomon. All right? It was for him to be conformed to his father. All right? And now it's on us to be conformed to your how was shy. You see? Go ahead. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Yeah, so in your house shot is the closest thing you're gonna get to the heavenly father. It's just like you dealing with the heavenly father with dealing with your house shot. Go ahead. John 14 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, sue us the Father, and it and it's uh, sufficient us. Yep, go ahead. Verse 9, Yahweh Shah said unto him, I have I have I been so long time with you, yet hast thou not known me? Yep. Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. He that seen me have seen the Father. Going back to the point that the priest made that he looks like the house, mm -hmm. like the heavenly Father physically, but also when it comes to judgment, all right, and also when it comes to what the way that Yahweh will rule the earth. That's right. how Yahweh shines. Right. Mm -hmm. See, we when you go back to uh, matter of fact, real quick, uh, I get that First Corinthians 15 and uh, starting at 22. You see, you have to understand like. Yahweh, all right, his son, Yahweh Shah, is a real father-son relationship, man. Go ahead. Come this is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 22. Yeah, For as in Adam all die, yep. mm -hmm. even so in Amasiyah shall all be made alive. Shall all be made alive. Mm -hmm. See, the first Adam, sin right. came through his, all right, generation. That's right. All right, but through the generation of Yahweh Shah, Adam, right. Adam perfected mm -hmm. his life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Why? Because Adam had to get it right first. Right. The firstborn had to get it right first. Go ahead. It says, but every man in his own order. Every man in his own order. So every brother out here is going to come after that order of the house shot. That's, it. that's why he's the chief cornerstone. So every single brother, all right, that's of the hopeful elect, we're going to come in our own order after your house shot. Your mm -hmm. house shot had to be the first one. Go ahead. That's right. Like that cornerstone, that first one. Yeah. That's the foundation. That proves that that's Adam. Going to the word Adam or Darwin at the ground. Right. You can't build nothing without the foundation. Right. 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 They are the anointed and his kind. Yeah, the rest of the one third. See, that's gonna be the order. Yeah, how was Shai had to be perfected first. You see? And he was perfected, you know, during his last lifetime. That's why he doesn't have to come back in the flesh. Because he fulfilled all his uh reincarnations in the flesh and was perfected. Now we in our last reincarnation where we're gonna be perfected. You see? Go ahead. And if I can just make it forth again, if you think about it, see we're perfect in the spirit, but not in the flesh. And just as we Revelation 14 and 5. God, this is the book of Revelation. 
chapter 14, verse 5, wow. it reads, And in their mouth was found no guile. That means you're perfect. In their mouth was found no guile. So you're perfect in the spirit, but not in the flesh. Go ahead. For they are without fault. They are without fault. All right, so we are already been basically um, likening, we are, we are also in that image of Yahweh Shah, but not full. Lord, it is a spirit, but now it's not manifested in the flesh. That's spiritually correct. Yeah, spiritually correct. Yeah, you want to make him not on the top of the house. Oh. That's just being polished up. Yeah, we're bad. It says, for they are without fault, but for the throne of the most high. For the throne of the most high. See, because you got to know the most high, the most high. Everything, everything gonna be on his motherfucking foot. 
trip, the trip say that. Everything be on his motherfucking foot. Every bitch, every hoe, every dog, every hoe, bow, dog, I don't give a fuck. On his foot. The nation gonna be on his foot. So uh, he can come and cook. No. The other man's gonna be on the lost foot. They gonna be on his fucking foot. So what we talking about? Oh, he can get roses out. No, I ain't no, ain't getting no roses. Bitch, I got a nigga, I got a this. No. Bitch going down. It's how you gonna go down. Lord put the air down in his foot, though. And the shoe's like, she's like in um, Revelation, and he's he gonna beat him with a right arm. Hey, they gonna fold. They gonna fold. They gonna fold like a motherfucking chair. It's on St. Matthew 13, the first uh, part of one. It says, the son of man. God, uh, it said the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that have been, and them which do it. A two thorns of our people, and these other nations begin with Esau. And the kingdom of heaven will be forced, formulated through the act of war, man. All right? Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine. And predestined, meaning what? He foreknew. So the most high hands can be let within your lip, regarding the classification of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. To be conformed right? to the image of his son. To be conformed to the Ooh. image of his son. Ooh. All right, hey, so therefore, hey, this is how this is the setup. When you go to Psalm 14 and verse 4, who's at the right hand of the Lord? This book of Psalm 121, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou in my right hand until I make thy enemies thy foot. So Yahweh is at the like Yahweh Shah is at the right hand of Yahweh. And guess what? Lord will we the hope of let we are at the right hand of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Your heirs. It all leaks up. Mm -hmm. So if Yahweh Shah has that image of his father, Yahweh, we're waiting for that full capacity of that image. Mm -hmm. But right now it's within the spirit. Because remember, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, it's just like uh, we make an investment within a company, we gonna get partial dividends. So that's how we are in the spirit. We have a shot. He brings his rulership on this earth. This is let your heirs gonna be right along with him. Mm -hmm. Then those partial dividends. That's why you see in the scripture say some a hundredfold, some fiftyfold, some twentyfold. Those are partial dividends that we gonna be ruling throughout the whole earthly universe. And it starts with one penny. One penny can become the kingdom of heaven, man. You just got to flip it. Go ahead. Uh, skip down. Verse, uh, verse 32. He that spared not his own son. Right, so the most has got to respect the person. Yeah, how shot had to basically be punished for his lifestyle when he was out. His lifestyle when he was out. His lifestyle when he was on uh, Solomon. All right, but when he came back as himself, remember, he was blameless. He was that a spotted lamb. Yes, that only proves for reincarnation. A spotted means you never see him. So he's paying, he had to be paid back. He had to pay back to the most high for, for basically sinning during those other lifestyles. There are all those iniquities. All right, go ahead, man. He that spirit not his own son, go ahead. but delivered a book for us all. Right, delivered. So now we are being adopted back to Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Adopt, adopted means what? To be chosen. When you go to adoption agency, you want to choose what? A boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And it starts with this truth. This truth is freely. All right, so as you receive the free, you're supposed to push it out freely. Yes, sir. Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's effect. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, because at the end of the day, hey, we are Lord will, hey, we, we have to be. Lord will, we have to be those men. Yeah. Who's doing it? Who's doing it consistently through the spirit of the Alba Shem You know, you're driven by fear. You're driven by faith. Mm -hmm. Who's doing that, bro? Who's doing it? Go ahead, bro. That's it. Hey. Isaiah 22 and 16, what, what hast thou here? And whom hast thou here? 
and thou hast hewn thee out a sepulchre mm -hmm. as he that hewn him out a sepulchre on us. This is the book of Psalm 110 and 4. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yeah, so this uh, priesthood, all right, is not going to be disannulled. This is the priesthood, all right, that's going to rule in the everlasting kingdom. Like, we're all going to be priests after the order of Melchizedek. See, go ahead. Verse 5. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings yep. in the day of his wrath. Yeah, and that's the Lord, what? Delivering up the kingdom to the Most High. That's your house shot, delivering up the kingdom to the Most High by conquering the kings of the earth. Right, right hand. Yep, right, right hand. Right, right hand. hand. Yep, boy. Right. It said he should judge among the heathen. Yep. He should fill the places with the dead bodies. They're going to judge among the heathen. And the judgment is they got to go to captivity and be ruled with the rod of iron, man. Or all the way out to Esau eat. That's the judgment. You see? The Howard Shah is coming to set judgment in the earth, man. That's why everything's going to change. Like you said earlier, like, once the judgment is set for me, you got a murder case. Once the judgment is set, all right, you don't go back home. You got a whole, it's a whole new system. You see? So when the Howard Shah comes to judge in the earth, it's going to be a whole new way of existing. See? And it says he shall wound the heads over many Ooh, countries. The heads, Ooh. the king, beginning right. with Amalek. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And because you think about it, in the scripture saying on his head is going to be many crowns. Yep. So that signifies that Yahweh Shah is going to be the top king on this earth. Very soon, man. Yep. You got to one more. It's Isaiah 9:6. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. The government, meaning what? The kingdom of heaven, rulership. Go ahead. Yeah, get shoulders, boy. Uh, this is the word shoulder in the blue letter. The place of burdens, the spur of heel. Mm -hmm. Going, 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 go, go to the next, the next point. Go, go to the next point. The next point. Right here. So the government body is going to rest, the government is going to rest upon the shoulders of Yahweh Shah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Just a classification for him, you know, another title. All right, because his name is Yahweh Shah. The mighty power, mm -hmm. the everlasting father, mm -hmm. the prince of peace. That's it. The prince of peace. Why? Because he adopted us back to our father Yahweh. All right, and in the midst of that, he killed all the, all the hatred that we have amongst the tribe. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, real, real quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, real quick, then brother, keep reading. Uh, Isaiah 97. Of the increase of his government. Well, the brother uh, spoke about King David, mm -hmm. all right? And he spoke about this is going to be a, uh, well, perpetual king. Perpetual meaning everlasting. Go ahead. Isaiah 9 7, of the increase of his government mm -hmm. and peace. The increase of his government, who is what? The elect. <coughs> so we're going to get the increase, which is which is what? Being joint as with Yahweh Shot, being crowned. A crown that's going to never be taken off, man. That's going to be an increase, man. Go ahead. And peace there shall be no end. There are peace there shall be no end, which is what? A continuation of King Solomon's uh, kingdom, mm -hmm. which is going to be a perpetual kingdom, man. Everlasting kingdom. Right. 40 years to eternal. Good. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ok
upon the throne of David. Yep, upon the throne of David, man. All right, our king is going to be crowned again. It's Isaiah 40 and 10. Behold, the Lord power will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Read again. Uh, Isaiah 40 and 10. The Lord power will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Right. So the heavenly father, Yahweh's arm, this right hand man, is Yahweh's shadow. You know? Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. This uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, mm -hmm. that every man, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. Okay, done. Read, read one more time. Done. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. And who's going to be the ultimate judge? Yahweh Shai. Yes. All right. Uh, the Most High said what? I give. Uh, 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 Quote the scripture, uh, what is that, Matthew 17 and 5. All right, this is my beloved son, hear ye him. All right, that's, that's it. The, that's right, the commandment. And, and that commandment right there leads to life right there. All right, and that's what we have done. We have hearkened unto that commandment. But the scripture also say, uh, all power is given unto you, Yahweh Shai, in heaven and in earth. All right, so that means he has the power to judge you. All right, and that judgment is balanced. Because two-thirds are going to get death, all right, and the elect, Lord, when we're part of them, we're going to get life. That's that judgment. That's that balance in that judgment. That's that power that Yahweh Shai got. That's that judgment seat. Go ahead. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. Right. And, and we, want, we want to receive the things done pertaining to the uh, the, the precious metal, man. You know, those that, 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 that will uh, uh, endure that day. You know, endure that fire. You know, we don't want to be a part of the, the, the wood. You know, but that's going to get burned. You can't put wood through the fire and wood and make it through the fire. It's going to turn to what? Stubble. But if you put gold and silver through the fire, the impurity is going to come off of wood of that. Proverbs 25 and 4. You know, that, and that's the process we're going through, getting, getting impurities off of us. Because we hope to be the, the, the gold and the silver. Go ahead, bro. According to that we have done, mm -hmm. whether it be good or bad. That's right. And we're doing the ultimate good, which is what? Pleasing the most. We're doing the will of the most high. First of all, which is what? Doing the works of the most high. What is that, St. John the 6th chapter? Which is what? Believing in Yahweh Shah first. All right, and then after believing in Yahweh Shah, we're showing our faith by our works, which is those good works. This is the perfect will of the Most High that we're showing for. Go ahead, bro. Finish that. Back in Isaiah 9 and 7. Mm -hmm. Of the increase of his government mm -hmm. and peace, there shall be no end. Right, and we're going to have that peace with no end. Like the elder said, that perpetual kingdom, man. That perpetual rulership. Go ahead. Upon the throne of David. Upon the throne of David, man. So that X out with these, these blind, these blind leaders of the blind is talking about, man. Our king is gonna be crowned again. Now this don't mean he's over your house shot. That's 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 that, that just show you what where your mental uh, uh faculties at, man, pertaining the scriptures. Because what you don't you lack understanding. What Proverbs 4 and 7 say? But all thy getting get understanding. So you got all this getting, which is all, all the information that the scriptures uh, allow you to have, but you don't understand what you're getting. To understand what you're getting is know that Yahweh Shai is what? The, the ultimate angel, man. The scripture speaks about uh, the Most High didn't give any other angel his name. What that? Hebrews, the first chapter? Philippians, what? Uh, 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 the second chapter? That's right. That's it. Shot the first spiritual mediator, but King David was the first physical, you know, mediator because what? He was, he was the first in between. Didn't, didn't the Most High choose King David to go speak to his people? See what I'm saying? He was, you got that? All right. <laughs> yeah, come, let me finish Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. And upon the throne of David, uh -huh. upon his kingdom, to order it, to establish it, establish it with judgment uh -huh. and with justice uh -huh. for his fourth. For his fourth. Which, which what? Bringing a perpetual king. Why is it going to be perpetual? Because we're going to have the laws, statutes, and commandments written on our inward part. We're never going to go off again. It's going to make it perpetual. Hey, because the Father 
the breaking of his commandments brought forth those particular yeah. captivities. You know, because the sin against him brings forth what death, but to keep his commandments is what he keeps eternal life. That's why the perpetual kingdom is the thing that we're looking forward to. And people look at, oh, you're one of those Hebrews, or you're one of those Israelites, like it's something derogatory. Examine your particular self and examine your lineage as something great, as being one of the sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's nothing to proud upon, man. But that's why the Heavenly Father stated that they shall be amazed with the strangers of the salvation of the Heavenly Father. Thank you, man. Yeah, because that's a lamb back to the other point. When we talk about the king, kingdom, we're talking about clean water, clean air, the earth yielding forth the strength, no pollution. Can you see? No alphabet people running rampant, no pedophiles. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about, like a righteous kingdom. Yeah. So how can what we're doing is derogatory or something bad right. when everything that uh, 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 the kingdom entails is going to benefit the earth? Right. And eventually, even the heathen is going to benefit the school of Esau, who will be destroyed, but eventually, they're going to even benefit from the kingdom. Yes. You know? yes. uh, they hate the good the That's it. Hey, and like the brother said, they won't going to benefit. Uh, somebody get Romans 8. Okay, come. This is what Solomon chapter 6, verse 24. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. That's right. So the multitude of the wise is the welfare, which is the benefit of the world. That starts with the, uh, the heathen nations under Esau. All right? Because remember, Esau is going to be done away with after he... After that last second of that last thousand year period is over, he's going to be done away with. But the rest of the multitude, which is which the heathens, on down to two thirds of our people, which they ain't going to be two thirds in that time. They're going to be came back to our lawns, but they're going to benefit. Yeah, just to say, like, look how long, you know, niggas been wearing pink in October for all these years for breast cancer. And this nigga ain't got, you know, he ain't got a pill. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Yeah, this nigga ain't got nothing. He ain't made no progress. Billions of dollars, you know, all these things, you know, stop fresh count, but this nigga ain't got made no progress. You see? But then, when it comes to uh, this latest pandemic, he got this solution on that, you know, showing that, no, man, this is off, man. You see? And we talking about healing the earth, man. Right. Like it says, um, it says, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. We need to start the outside. The outside is when that spirit did is like the king, you know. So that, that, that's what's going to uphold the people. So that's the reason why the people, they see, get, having a rough, uh, what do they call it, they're saying, having a rough press there. Right, right. That, that, that's not a literal saying at the time. Yeah, that's, that's a spiritual saying, but. It's going to literally play out in the game, right? This is 10 and 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Woo! And in due time, he was set over it. Woo! One that's profitable. That's this. You got to be correct. One that's profitable. You're going to profit, by the way, if your house is ruling in 144,000. I think that one could be that one. That's it. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody going to follow. Not just the one of this group. Uh, what did the scriptures say? Uh, Brother paraphrasing. The people are as the rulers. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about? So guess what? If the, the, the head is sick, the people are going to be sick. But in this time, the heads are going to be what? The healers, which they're going to be healed. So the people are just going to be able to benefit off them. This is Romans uh, chapter 8, and verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sun. And guess what? Our earnest expectation is to, to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, but the earnest expectation of the creature, which is what creation goes back into what creation. So the earnest expectation of all the creations of the earth from the, from the air to the water to the bees to the trees, all organisms. Go ahead. Wait a so so this, this is speaking of the earnest expectation of them. Go ahead. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High, which is the elect, that yes. government that we read that we read about in what? Uh, Roman, uh, Isaiah the ninth chapter. Go ahead. So, so they waited for the earnest. Read it again. God, for the earnest expectation of the creature, waiting for the manifestation 
of the sons of the Most High. So what that means is the whole whole creation is waiting for the elect to be put in the uh, the, or the, or the real rulers of this planet to be put in proper order, so everybody can flourish, so everybody can have life. Because as long as death and rulership, death death is, is going to come to the people, man. You got this. The book of Isaiah 14 and 8. You. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against thee. Right. And that's talking about Esau. All right. A, a feller, you know, you, 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 it's somebody that what? Chop down trees, which would be a modern day lumberjack. All right. So, and guess what? Those trees also represent nations. Right. So, okay, kind of. So, those. Mm -hmm. The branches, that's right, all the way to the top. That's it. That's it. So that's right. All the way to the young twig. So so when Esau get what we're saying is when Esau get taken out of place, everybody's gonna rejoice, man. Everybody's gonna rejoice because what? Life is gonna flow. That's what we read here in Romans 8. Hey, if I could just say this too, you know, that goes to what I say, uh, when the when the wicked rule the people more. Hey, 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 this is Proverbs 29 and 2. Yeah. When the righteous are in authority. Yeah, so when the righteous are in authority, you know who the, the potential right. We we are the potential righteous. If, if, if we endure unto the end. Alright? But the righteous who is who? The elect. That's why we got the greatest hope. We, we have hope for men who part of that number. All right, we the only ones doing what the elect would do. So three again. When the righteous are in authority. So when the righteous are ruling, oh, yeah. the people rejoice. The people rejoice. Which is going back to those trees, which represent people. Like, like the brother said, going all the way down to, to, to the to the stock and the line and the lineages of those people. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. But what the like, stuff's like I mean, no. I've seen men walking. That's it, man. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. I've seen men walk. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It says, but when the wicked bear a fruit. But when the wicked is in authority, go ahead. The people mourn. The people mourn, man. They mourn by, 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 by the. You got to up. Go ahead. Just about Mark 8 and 24. Yeah. And he looked up and yeah. he said, I see yeah. men and That's trees it. walking. That's it. So those trees is what? Represent those men, man. See, the scripture speaks in what? In, in, in parables. Dark sands, man. But you gotta have that eye sand to see this, man. Well, that's an apple sand, uh, family tree. Family that's tree. Right. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about it out? Uh, references. Isaiah 2 and 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains mm -hmm. and shall be exalted above the hills. Oh, yeah, read that again. Isaiah yeah. 2? Isaiah 2 and 2. And it shall now come. Now we're going into the kingdom of heaven, man. And people marveling at this this gathering. But this is your next behold your next king. And next rulers, man. And that's enough to uh stir up the emotions of the people. That's why so much friction came with the testimony of the hour shot. Now when you read Matthew the tenth chapter, it talks about how the Lord sent forth his disciples with the message of the kingdom, preach the kingdom of heaven, man. See that's offensive to uh a nation that's already set up. And even the psyche of the people, and your own people. They say, hold up, man, you're in the same position as us, and you're telling us that you're going to be in there. That's offensive, man. So, yeah, we're coming out with a very controversial, this is a controversial topic. Read it again now. Right. Isaiah 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Right. That's going with the pecking order in relation to the nations, man. It's always been that way. You have an a, a empire, right, and you have tributaries. And that happened in the King, uh, in the reign of King Solomon. What's that first Kings? Uh, is it the fourth chapter where it talks about how they brought gifts to King Solomon? When you look up that word "gift," it go in the tribute. So this is not a new idea. All right, the nation's not going to go away. Neither are the nations going to come together. We're going to merge together in a big peace summit, man. After we got our ass kicked, that's the no, you no, know, that's the consolation. We all just get along after that. Yeah. And shall be exalted above yeah, the hills. In the top of the mountain, it should be wet. And shall be exalted above the hills. Right, that's ranking. And what you think we're going to do when we're on top of our enemies, man? We're going to exact vengeance. And that's pleasing in the eyes of your house. What's that, 2 uh, Thessalonians 1? 1 and 6? Yep, go ahead. And all nations shall flow unto it. Right, 
Yeah, because uh, when you think, for example, you consider America, Babylon and Grace, all the other nations flow to America, you know, for schooling, education, you know, um, but in, in the kingdom to come, in the world to come, the nations don't flock up. And when you read on there, it tells you how the law going to go forth out of Zion. Right? So we're going to be uh, enforcing our will, right? We're going to put the squeeze on the nation. You got to keep the laws, that's the commandments of Yahweh. Y'all say Isaiah, the 16th chapter, goes to I wish you suck the milk from yes, the Gentiles. Right. We need to get that. Y'all think about this. Yeah, somebody can hold that to Isaiah 60. Yep, go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. This book is uh, Psalm they chapter 60. They got See, this is how the Lord chose to rid out the undesirable. By talking about rulership. Yeah. A nigga don't want no cause for that, man. You content with filling out an application, man. See, the Lord is raising up the ruins, the fallen tabernacles of David. Yeah, you know, we've been erected once again. That's Revelation 11 chapter, Ezekiel 37 chapter. The Lord has infused life in us, and that life is in the form of the word, but we can, we can go into the particulars. The, the doctrine is the kingdom of heaven, man. And you feel hurt, somebody tell you, hey man, you got an inheritance. If you was down, you gonna be amped up. That's gonna be a jump of energy, man. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah. some for something uh, to look forward to. Yeah, that's and it. Gonna, even with the, uh, the raising up of the tabernacles of David, mm -hmm. pretty much a rulership mentality was erected in our mind. See, I will stir up your spirit in your pure minds. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. he really stirred up the minds of, of, of rulers. The house of David, yeah. they rule. He really stirred up the minds of rulers. Yeah. Like, no, you're supposed to be ruling. Like, that's why we vexed. Like, the more increasing wisdom, you know, you increase sorrow. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're supposed to be ruling. Like, yeah. I'm supposed to be ruling, man. Hey, you want to see the book of Jude, though yeah. your voice leaves? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's heaven, too. Uh, the very idea of teaching is that's why you have a sign that preach the kingdom. You got a piece of right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody hold William of Solomon 8 chapter. Bob up and sell. William of Solomon 8. Go ahead, you got it. Uh, this is Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you say, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Thoughts of peace yeah. and not Ooh. of evil. And, and what was uh, 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 Solomon's? Come on, man. Come on, man. Thoughts of peace. That's, that's that rule ship of Solomon. Yeah. Nice. You that's see? All right. Yeah, Mel Mel Chesedek, Malak, Tazadak, King of Righteousness, King of what? Salem, Shalom, King of Peace. Read it again. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you said you have about Shem Yahweh Shai. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. That rulership. You see, pretty much the Bible is encoded with nothing but rulership. Right. That's what we're talking mm -hmm. about the back. Mm -hmm. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. That's it. The mystery is a rulership. You see? Go ahead. And not an evil yep. to give you an expected end. To give us an expected end. And that's rulership. Mm -hmm. That's the expected end. All right? Like you said, to exalt mm -hmm. the government of Israel above these other governments in the earth, man. You see? Yeah. Let me say, this is the hope and the patience of the same. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. This is our expected end. The hope and patience is rulership. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. The perks going to come with it, but see, we... Once we get in rulership, everything else is going to play out. Uh, yeah. Everything else is going to fall in place, man. You know? That's it, man. Once you got the crown on, that's it. Yep. Uh, uh, wisdom of Solomon 8. You got it? Yeah, which verse? Uh, I put it. Uh, okay, wow. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 1. Yep. Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily. Right, so that's the perfection of when Yahweh sent out uh, the disciples, man. Now that kingdom has spilled over throughout the planet Earth. Wisdom has reached from one end to another mightily, man. There's no way you can uh, 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 hold back the momentum of the spirit of your house by Shemal Shah. You got cameras all over the place. All you got to do is match upload, publish. Oh, and that's the spirit. That's Psalm 98. We match publish, right? And all of a sudden, that notice, that decree has fell on your doorstep. Right, that's that, that, that mm -hmm. going to Trump. Yeah, that's it. That, that, that thing, that bell. The king coming. The, bell. the king coming, man. When you get that alert, that's the that's the trumpet being blown at your house side coming. And the establishing of a kingdom, man. And it's far into the minds of Jake, man. Hey, it's a beautiful, hey, it's beautiful, man. Because you hear based upon the merits of your house side, which goes back to wisdom. 
Matter of fact, let's get that, uh, that the light being thrown on the face. I know, Chris, that's good. I was telling you, I know, Chris, I'm all over the place. Don't say no. Come on. Don't say no. Yeah, this is Mr. Solomon 88. It says, Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily and sweep the dust she order all things. And sweep the dust she order all things. Now, let's get this in uh, Ecclesiastes 47. It says, Wisdom reaches from one one end, mm -hmm. she ordered all things, go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes 47, starting verse 12. After the hill rose up a wise son, and for his sake he dwelt at large. Yep. Solomon reigned in a peaceable time, mm -hmm. and was honored. For the Most High made all quiet round about him. He ordered, his wisdom ordered all things, go ahead. That he, that he might build a house in his name, yep. and prepare his sanctuary forever. Go ahead. How wise was thou in thy youth, and as a flood filled with understanding, okay. thy soul covered the whole earth. Thy soul covered the whole earth mm -hmm. in wisdom. Really? <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. Now you know that the that, that house shine is solid and perfected. That's it. That's it. Thou fillest it with dark parables. Yep. Who Ooh. understand those dark parables? Yeah. Hey, that's why yeah. only those that's in the council understand those dark yeah. parables. You know? Yeah, you got to have a code to log in. Yeah. And that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. She was a small point too. Standing for a few. Mm -hmm. And I looked up there, Sean said, "Nah, it means to pour something into." Ooh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 And if I may, peace up, brother. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 I am the I am the true vine. Come on, now. And my Whoa. father is the vine. A vine, a vine is uh, equivalent to a vein. That's what life is pushed through. Right? Yeah. 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 And few, let's go ahead. And since you said that, according to uh, the Greek, if I just get to the definition. Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, calls himself a vine because as the vine departs to its branches, sap and productiveness, Ooh. so Mashiach infuses into his followers his own divine strength. Hey, and come life. on, man. Come on, man. And hey, with that, <laughs> that's telling you, man. That's going to happen right there, man. That reminds me of the definition for the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Right? You know, the Lord influencing you. That's that breath, the inspiration. Is infused in you, yeah, and that's how, uh, uh, like it says, sap right there. But in the case of the body, it's the blood of your house, son, man. And you compare you know? that to uh, being intertwined. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> in the Bible places that spirit inside of you. That's why that term educate me to draw out from the dead. You know? Because the Father give you that that, that that spirit, that breath of life, man. That's what quickens you. That's what makes you animated to be able to see clearly and to hear thoroughly. A lot of people have eyes, a lot of people have ears, but they don't see the truth. They don't hear the truth of what it is. In the anime, we have been quick enough through life being infused in us. The Lord uh, uh, perform spiritual CPR on us. You know? St. John 15 and verse 4, it says, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, uh -huh. Except it abide in the vine. Mm -hmm. No more can ye except ye abide in me. That's it. Yeah. 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 Yahweh Shah is the source of life. That you know, building. Mm -hmm. Building mm -hmm. is what's it, what, what it's all about. You know, you can really break everything down into two extremes. That's why you have life, darkness, right, and left, righteousness, wickedness, hot, cold, Jacob Esau. You know? Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. St. John 5 and 21. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickens them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. Ooh. Going back to that vine. That's the source of life. So Yahweh Shah was given, you know, pretty much authority to have life within himself, man. To give life to what brother he going to give life to, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that was a. Hey. Like we're breaking down the two extremes. Then you have building and destroying. There's no in between. You know, you got building and destroying. So building, right, is is where you want to be. Certainly you don't want to be uh de demo, you know, what do you call it? Demolition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want to be demolished. You want to be erected, right? So the reason why I make that point is because you can't build without a foundation. That's why the outside said what he said. Without me, you can do nothing. Here you, you got a plan for a beautiful mansion to dwell within, but you ain't got no foundation to build on. That's why Yahweh said, said what he said. So that's the extreme. We building now, and the only building is going to be 
that's going to be perfected is going to be through your house time. I don't care how many proofies you produce, how many, you know, guys you put together, how many doctors, what panel you lay out and present. If they're not in the name of your house side, then it's going to come to nothing. Right, come on, come on. Yeah, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 32, or 33, and verse 14. It says, good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. That's it. So look upon all the works of the Most High. Do all the works of the Most High. Go ahead. And there are two and two, one against another. There's, right. two, there's an opposition there, man. It's two extremes. Right? So we we're going to go against it. You have some name that desperation. The Lord said, look, he that that was not with me, scattered abroad. He that is not with me is against me, man. Yep, come on, come on that. And in all ages, 
entering into holy souls. Yeah, come on. Come on. She may yeah, you can't feel. contain wisdom. It's a power that can't be contained. You know? That's why uh, some, some of the words that best defines wisdom is uh, you know, like wind, uh, breath, cannot be led, you know? Uh, water, you pour water into a yeah, it takes the form of whatever goes, fills all the nooks and crannies. So wisdom can't be, you know, you can't hinder this overwhelming presence of the Lord. Go ahead. It says, she make of them friends of the Most High. Right, she makes them friends of the Most High. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a, a very critical position to be in. You know, because to be a friend of the Lord, you have just now aligned yourself, you have just made an alliance with the highest powers conceivable, man. Right? And that friendship is forged by understanding. That's why you can't, there's nothing you can do. You know, you go on a low carb diet. That's not going to get some of the good graces of your house by some outside. The entry point to this friendship is your mind. The you understand, like in the ancient world, you had an alliance. You would join houses to houses. You know, that's when you got a lot of marriages. You know, in the ancient world, they would be joining the house to see who had married who and how it happened. Right? They would join in the house, you know. And, and before a war, all right, what would happen? Kings would align themselves with two different, with, with, uh, either or the whole side. Yeah. All right, because if it's a war, you know how to be on somebody's side. Like, ain't no neutral. We finna go to war. So like, they it's show, it's like real quick. They show you that they come in the black night, the Marlon. Yeah. Remember, he, uh, when he had sex with this girl, she said, you just, you just killed all my chances of forming an alliance with Norman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the ancient world, that was yeah. the bread and butter. You well, know, you could join the house mm -hmm. before the war. That's it. Whoever won the war, then if you was allied, all right, with the king the war, guess what? He was survived the war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we do with the house shot. We are being joined to the house shot before the war, and he's going to divide the score. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. Yep. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Yeah, see, a choice is being made. See, within this grace period, there's a choice of whose side, you know, whose side you're going to be on. And see, what you're seeing, like, with people that, you know, taking the juice, they pretty much side with, you know. That's why when you get the MOTB, that's the confirmation on who you side with. You know, ain't no coming back from it. You done sided with the beast. See? It says, one of the gods of your, which your father served that were on the other side of the flood were yep. the gods of the Amorites, yep. in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, me and my house, house go ahead. we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. Uh, All right? So, <laughs> hey, we're joined. We done made an alliance to your house, to your house shop. Before the war, all right. So that's why Isaiah picked the story. Yep, this gonna top it off. See, go ahead. It says, because he had poured out his soul unto them, and he was numbered with the transgressors, yep. he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. So what the house shot did, he's gonna get the biggest portion, and then with that portion, he's gonna divide it with the first fruits. All right, who have allied themselves to your house shot before the war, man. See, to really understand the Bible, you got to kind of understand ancient warfare. Like, what the, what the scripture say? The most high is a man in the wood. So, when the, this is a war talk. The Bible is, you know, you graduate from, uh, you know, following the king high. You know, you get up there with your the speech. I can do all things through Christ. <laughs> no, man, this is a book of war, man. All right? This ain't no motivational speech, you know, for you to go start your business, you know. I started off with two t-shirts, now I got the chain. No, see, this is a war book. This is the book of war, man. You see? And the house of David is what? Mighty men, man. You see? That's the glory, Okay. Go back to Wisdom Psalm 8. I think you had that? Yeah. Yeah, go back to that Mark 10, verse 9. Well, therefore, the Most High have joined together.
let not man put asunder. Woo! And that's a marriage. You see, it's a spiritual marriage. You know? The house of David is being drawn with who? The house of shot. Alright? Before the war. And you see? And ain't nobody going to divide that alliance, man. That alliance is going to be unbroken. This is an eternal alliance, man. You know? In other words, you say, in Thessalonians house, you know, we're going to be caught up with the house of shot. And we're going to be drawn with the Lord forevermore. You know? That's that marriage, man. See? Uh, yeah, I know it's on that. I know it's on that. Wisdom 8 and 1. Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily. Yep, go ahead. And sweetly do a see or all things. Now the Lord is setting everything back right side up, man. Through wisdom, a decree has went out for the releasing of the captives. But you didn't know, you had kings in captivity, man. Ooh. All right, and then with sovereignty, man, through the heavens. So the Lord released a decree to order all things aright. You know, go ahead. It you says, see that. Go ahead. I love her uh -huh. and saw her out. From my youth, I desire to make her my spouse. Yeah, like the brother going into, you go going into the, the uh, uh, you know, the, the very essence, if you will, how this thing is presented. You can apply war, you know, which that all ties into rulership, kingdom, because you have a military, you know, you have to have a blueprint laid out. You have something you conquer, and if they don't pay tribute to you, then they just uh, align themselves against you, man. Like, you got, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, like if, you're in the, if you got a kingdom, you know, if somebody kidnapped, you know, mm -hmm. the baker, yeah. you know, it's really not, you know, it's not going to be a lot of resources put into trying to get him back. But now, if you kidnap the king's son, Come on, man. Hey, the king going to throw his whole empire at you. All right? That's why, in how was shot, matter of fact, real quick, uh, Luke 9, 25, real quick. You see? You got to understand, like, Esau, like, it was a setup, you know? When Esau came and got us, you know, on them ships, it was a setup, man, right? St. Luke 9, verse 25. But what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For well, whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my word, yep. of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. Yep. He shall come in his own glory. He shall come in his own glory. Remember, if you kidnap the king's son, he gonna send, he gonna use all his resources to get his son back. Because that's his heir. You see? So he gonna come in the glory of the Father go ahead. He said, and in his father, yep. and of the holy angels. So how was shot coming with all the resources from the spiritual realm to get back those sons, man? He coming in the glory of the Father, his glory, and the glory of the angels. You see? Like I said, you kidnap the baker, you know, you might go that nigga in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, but you kidnap the sons, now you gotta start utilizing resources to get them sons back, man. This is what that's that's what you have shot coming back to do. Uh, okay. Look Psalm 8, verse 2 again. It says, I love her and saw her out. From my youth, I desired to make her my spouse. Yep. And I was a lover of her beauty. Yeah, because this this word is a reflection of the Lord. That's what you read that in uh, what's that? Wisdom of Solomon 6. Yeah. Alright, so we are beholding the image of the Lord. You know, uh, this is what has placed the two thirds in the position they in, man. Right there, hot water now because the Lord has turned his face from us. That's in, uh, what's that, Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah 8. Uh, he that hide his face from Jacob. And, you know, somebody on the throne and asked for a petition and he just turned his head the other way. Yeah, that's a cold, that's a king, man. All right, come on. He says, if that she is conversant with the Most High, mm. She magnified her nobility. Yeah, because that's going into that council. You know, you are now being counseled from a higher, you know, form of power. All right? You're conversing. Uh, what's the Isaiah 30 and 20, is it? Um, you should hear what? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, yeah, the Lord of all things himself loved her. Right. So if you're a carrier of this possession, this entity, wisdom, which is a resource, then the Lord loves you. That's wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28. The Lord loving now that he that dwelleth with wisdom. Right? Go ahead. 
where she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge See, of the that, let you know right there that it ties back into the kingdom, man, what the brother going into. Matthew the 13th chapter. So to really have this wisdom, you have now been exposed to the idea of a kingdom, man. Hey, so if you have friends and you know your thing is the hot of your ministry is having a barbecue and crazy shit. That means you don't have the testimony of your house shot. You don't have a mystery that it came to heaven. See? But that's why it's a mystery, yeah, go ahead. This is all Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. Yeah, oh, and that's another thing. We was chosen. You know, it wasn't nothing you did. Yeah, D, man. It's the wisdom of this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father yeah. said. This is all Psalm 65 and 4. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man who thou choosest yep. and causes to approach unto thee, mm -hmm. that he may dwell in thy courts. Yep. We shall be satisfied. Yeah, and your court, you're, you're witnessing it. We're dwelling in the courts of the Lord, man. And that's uh, in Psalm. Let's like it. A proverb, the night time. Turn ye and hither and eat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we in the court. And yeah, go ahead. And it says, We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. The goodness house. of his house, this food. Mm -hmm. Which is his word, man. We are satisfied now. Our spirit is now, uh, you know, it was time our spirit was lean. Now our spirit is satin, and that's an idea of a different chapter. Go ahead. And it says, even of the holy temple. Mm -hmm. Even of the holy temple, man, which is the house of David. This is that gathering. This is the barn in Job 39th chapter. This is the, uh, 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 the, the spiritual house in 1st Peter, the 2nd chapter. You know, um, the tent in Genesis, the 25th chapter. You know, so that's where we're at. And the house, by the way, separate, uh, it, it, Symbolizes separation, division, and it also uh, symbolizes, you know, protection or cover. Are you got Hey, give me that. Yeah, because now let, let's go into the um, let's go into how this thing gonna play out. Because yeah, we are boasting in the kingdom and rightfully so. That was commanded in Matthew the tenth chapter. The Lord sent us forth to set preach the kingdom, prophesy this world of thought. But the scripture goes into detail, man. Did the illustration on the transition of that kingdom, man. The falling of this empire in the erecting and raising up of our kingdom. Okay? And it's, you know what? It's going to be at the expense of the fall of this place. That's why you can't teach one without the other. Yeah, let's get that right there. Okay? And matter of fact, give me Jeremiah the first chapter. Come on. Huh? Fine. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, verse 28. Hey, can I say, this contributes to the glad tidings and good news. It's not a thing that we're going to just get the kingdom and then we're going to just leave Esau off to himself. No, we're going to visit him too, man. He's going to, it's going to be at the expense of his blood, man. Just like it was at the expense of our blood, sweat, and tears that this place was built. And even to this very day, in certain uh, laws, such on the book, that contributes to keeping you a derision, man. You know, uh, that being at the bottom, it pretty much uh, prove that Esau is at the top. See, we're going to know we at the top when Esau is at, under our feet. What's that, Psalm 18? All right, so come on. Fine. It says, this second Ezra 4 28, but as concerning the things where thou askest me, mm -hmm. I will tell you. And where did he ask him? Go to second Ezra 4. The sixth chapter. Because he was inquiring about the kingdom, man. See, that's what you're going to find out. That, that's uh, with this thing centers around. This is King's language. See? We are being briefed on a kingdom. That's why when you read Revelation, the first chapter, it talks about uh, making us kings and priests. So we are being groomed and polished up to be the next rulers, the governor of the planet Earth. And beyond what you're really going to. Go ahead, huh? My second chapter says, verse 7. Then as I say, what shall be the body asunder of the time? Uh huh. Well, then shall be the end of the first, yeah. in the beginning of it that followed. Yeah, the first that came out of the womb, when is going to be the end of his reign of hell? Okay? That's what he was inquiring about. And this is where some people, y'all interest. You're a damn Israelite, but you got a 15-year plan. 
until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. It says, and Jerusalem shall be tried down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. That's what's bringing it down. You know? But he saw even man to set all right limit on where he's supposed to move before he was far from the down. You see, we see he's on the way down now. All right, that's why morally, all right, this place is getting worse and worse. All right, the, the, the spiritually, the wisdom of these works, the wisdom of this society is becoming real foolish. You yes. see? The whole feminist movement, nigger culture, you know, Democrat, Republican, all it, it, it's a shit show now. Why? Because the most high, all right, he saw him as we still limited. Now he's going to start breaking down. Like, even, even like with an athlete, every athlete, they have an incline, they peak out, they kind of plateau. But then what? It started coming down. So East, East America, I uh, ran by East South Eden, it started to come down. It's becoming washed up, man. Yeah, they reached that climate. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra's uh, fold. I'm going to jump down verse 37. By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times, and he yeah, thought... So you saw got a, a certain time. It's, what's that? Revelation 9? It's, it, it, it's down to a science, right? The Lord has it down to the year. The, the yeah, the year, and the, the month, the week, the day, the minute, the second. And he can't pass. Matter of fact, somebody get that real quick. Oh, uh, uh, Joel 38? Oh, you talking about that? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you get that. Yeah, you get that. Yeah, you get that. That's my love, yeah. Joel 38, yeah. I'm going to fly by 10 or 11. And that's good, too. Joel's going to get that. Also, uh, Jeremiah the fifth chapter, it pretty much goes into Esau and his desperate attempt to try to somehow maintain his rulership. Wow. Right? He's not going to go away quietly. And even that proves that we on the scene of the crime, man. We right at the crossroads of this transition of power. Okay? All right, come on. Right, the Job 38, start verse 10. And break up forward by the green place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And set bars and doors. Like bars and doors, mean coming and going. Right? Go ahead. And said, Hitherto shalt thou come, mm -hmm. but no further. Right, so Esau mm -hmm. has a time where he can come, but he can't go no further. Go ahead. It said, And here, Shall thy proud ways be saved. Right here, shall thy proud ways be saved. Man. And it's based upon the decree. Now the Lord has spoke that order into existence, man. You know, hey, when you go into, uh, what's that, um, when the scripture goes into, uh, the Lord said they don't hear your word. When you go to that word, words, it goes back to narration, man. To narrate. So we're actually speaking everything that you see into existence. Yeah. Even how the most I always say over over the scripture now, you know, he gave the water, all right? He gave the water, you know, a decree that it can't come past. Mm -hmm. You know, he saw with the proud yeah. water, bro, right. right? But it's only a certain length that mm -hmm. he can go. He got a bound and he yeah. can't pass. It's said by the, the, a perpetual decree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means the kingdom of heaven, the teachings of the kingdom of heaven, once it goes forth, that's going to pretty much cement your faith. You know, you can't go no further. Um, yeah, come on, I'll be good you guys. This is Jeremiah 49, 16. Mm -hmm. Thou turbanest have deceived thee Ooh. in the pride of thy heart. Yeah. O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, mm -hmm. that holdest the height of the hill. Thou yeah, right now they occupy the seat of power. They see, we know all the uh, characteristics. See, we can come to the conclusion who this entity is that the Lord's speaking about. The Lord's not just speaking, man. He's speaking against someone. Go ahead. Thou those shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. Mm -hmm. I will bring thee down for this, said Yahweh by Shia. Yeah, that's what you're witnessing. Oh, do you hold that to a Psalm 18? Hey, because the fall of Esau is epic. Because he's fallen from such heights. That's we're actually watching him fall. Now you know when someone falls, you stand something to Oh! <laughs> you know, Jake, Jake, oh! <laughs> man, we actually watching you fall, man. Yeah. Well, that's in uh, Ecclesiastes 25. He that liveth the sea, the fall of his enemy, man. That's a part of the, the euphoria. You got to preach out, bro. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Psalm 73 and 18. Surely thou didst set them in slippery, slippery places. Yeah, the Lord stabs you, devil. Right? Uh, you, you are the summit. You're the top of the mountain. Oh, that's what you get that saying, king of the hill? Yeah. 
you say, he's sitting in slippery places. Mm -hmm. Hey, this man created nuclear missiles. He didn't distribute them. You know, this man created an Air Force just to meet the chariots up there. Like, everything this man did, mm -hmm. it was slippery. Like, the whole time, Custom been setting you up, man. And you've been taking the bait. Because, like, Esau, he prides himself on getting niggas to take the bait. You know, well, Esau, you've been taking the bait, man. You know? Like, hey, what's, what's y'all got? Esau, Abraham, Abraham, Esau? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, if he would have had any sense, he would have ripped the well, yeah, 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 he was no oh, hell no. Yeah, you know? Yeah, he was carried away by his, driven by his own love. Yeah. yeah. yeah because that's his best. That's his best. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 because hey, when you're at the top too, right? Let's say you're at the top of the mountain, you have no room for hell. Nobody's going to say strict his steps is crazy. Yeah. That's why when you read the scripture, when you're going to the kingdom, you're going to the mountain. There it is. So he's been set at a slope. When you're going to the slope, that, that's a slippery place. No room for error. And he up there stirring shit up. You're supposed to be tiptoeing when you're at the top. Big, you know, 
in the finals, ain't nobody thinking about you. You know, that ain't no analyst talking about, you know, we need him to, you know, do 10 and 10 today. You know, you a small factor. When, you know, and that's what Esau is becoming. He's becoming a small factor on the world stage. That's why he's been a loser, man. You know? That all great despise, verse 3. Hey, real quick, because Esau is the real minority. Yeah. He's not the majority, he's the real minority, man. They want to put it on Jacob, but that's concerning Esau. That's why he's he what? Like the scriptures that we read. Behold, that made thee small among the heathen. Yeah. Thou great despise. And yeah, everybody hates Esau, man. Right. Really, the time we're living in now, everybody's coming everybody. into heaven for real. Hey, even if you don't know it. Even if right. Because it ain't just the stuff down and you having a platform inside hate so called white man. If you wake up and you're wrong, you got to go to work. That's the spy of Esau. Hey, because like uh, I say, everything go back to Esau. Because you seen, that, I know y'all seen that video in New York. There was a tourist up there. They uh, tried to uh, check her certification to see if she had the thing to go into the restaurant. Yeah, they hey, got to it. Yeah, they got it to it. You know, they got the moving furniture in there, man. Yeah. Hey, but they go back to Esau. Like Esau the cause of it. Because yeah. yeah. if you had that mandate, well, who paid the mandate? Can you see? Yeah, that's why that word small ain't just limited to one. It's across the board. Yeah. You saw, like I said, his lust, his money, his influence, his shine. Mm -hmm. Hey, when you come over here like to uh, America, right, if you were born in time past, you might send a report back like, you got to get out of here. Now they ain't send a report back, it's rats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't even see that in the Middle East. You don't see rats in the Middle East. That's what you saw. They come out of Europe, right? So uh, this man small, he, with that word small, not just... It's, it's dealing with Esau's very existence. And it's going until he's fading away. That's Ezekiel um, 17, where it says the, the green tree shall uh, wither. You can't see this nigga on the radar no more. Why? Because he's losing that shine. See? Go ahead. Verse 3. The pride of thy heart had deceived thee. Right. When you go into this man's uh, secret council, it's because your heart is played out of your head. The average eater might out here, he don't influence you, man. <laughs> it's the bankers that's the reason why, you know, you're in a position like this. Remember, yeah, 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 yeah,
Oh, the Apostle Howard made a great point about Esau being stripped from power the moment that we found out who the Illuminati was. Because they deal under this trial of secrets, right? You want to be around you and they think and they kill you. That's a secret. That's a weapon, man. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Luke 14 and 11. For whosoever exalted himself shall be obeyed. Mm -hmm. And he and Esau exalted himself because in his mind he has set up a, a future. That's not in the plans of the Alabama from outside. This man came up with a whole new world order. And when the scripture tells you about it, if we go, um, what's that, a James? Say not, we will go and tarry in a city. Oh, for a year, that's coming out the new world order, man. When you really go into it. Say not, we're going to tarry in a city for a long time and spend money here. <laughs> that's pride, man. Well, that's what Esau doing in essence. He said he's going to tarry in a new city. The new world order, you got something? Because they always like to give us put a date on it. Yeah. Like 2030. Like you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna that 2100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 always put the date on something, man. See? That's proud. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, you know, like the spirit world ain't got no, you know, authority <laughs> what's happening on earth, man. Yeah. Yeah. See? But it's gonna be that, that date when your house shot come, man. Right? And that was a perfect assessment. When the Lord called Esau proud, the Lord didn't make a mistake with that. So you gotta be proud to boast in a future, man. To say that you're gonna despite, you know, what the prophet's telling you. Because he can't say that, you know, we he left it up to his imag our imagination. No, we're telling you blatantly that you're gonna move out of power. Hey, that's like I was talking about earlier. The last time we were down there, how I had to try to show Peter that. Yeah, so yeah. Peter was talking, Peter must have really boasted on the preacher. Yeah, he was both, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I had to show up, you know? Like, nah, you know what I'm I'm fat to you, man. I'm fat to you, man. I'm fat. Yeah? Go ahead. Go ahead. Just finishing this Luke 14 and 11, it says, For well, whosoever exalted himself shall be obeyed. Mm -hmm. it's, it's going back to what the brother was saying. Esau Edom can't help himself from framing his tongue from that evil. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. speaking off of his tongue about a, a time frame that he can't even control. Come on. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh, that's, they got scheduled and calendar. Mm -hmm. That's pride at, at its that, that's one 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 existence of pride at its at its height, man. You talking about something that you can't control, man. You trying to speak it into existence, like your brother said, yeah. a time that you haven't even seen yet. That's one evil that he can't refrain his tongue from. Mm. That, that's why when we read the open diary, when it says, "The pride of thine heart has deceived you," like we always say, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to uh, deceive one person is one thing, but to uh, deceive your damn self—that's that's real poison, man. You deceive your damn self in thinking that you run everything. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's that, that's the most high. That's that trick bag that, that Joe was talking about. It's, uh, uh, Luke for yep, yep, that slippery slope. That's it. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna bring me down here? Luke 14 and 11 again. For whosoever exalted himself shall be obeyed, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. That's it. And that's the natural maturation of it. You can't go up unless you let the Bible. So we glory in it from You know? Um no This is the book of Daniel. Chapter 5, verse 26. This is the interpretation of the theme. Meaning, Yahweh have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Yeah, Woo. yeah. We're going to Revelation. Uh, we're going to Revelation. What's that? Revelation 9. 9. It goes into how uh, this man's kingdom, I mean, this man's days are really numbered. And I think you brought that out earlier, too. It's a day, it's a time when you can't pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not Joe, but the other one. Oh, mm -hmm. Our fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. Now, let's continue on that. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. To Cal, thou art weighed in the balances mm -hmm. and art found wanting. Right, yeah, so you saw you have been uh, uh, pretty much uh, condemned. You know, you have been weighed, you have been found. Guilty, man. Right? Go ahead. Correct. Thy kingdom is divided mm -hmm. and given to the Medes and the Persians. Mm -hmm. And when you look at oh, 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 oh. in the ancient world, you know, the Medo Persian Empire took down ancient Babylon. Yeah. But when you look at it spiritually today, the two top nations that's going to be on America's hands going to be Iran and Russia. Russia. Right? That's what that is. All right? 
you so uh, I ran the rush gonna play a big part in taking this place down, right. man. Yeah, how about gonna take this down, man? Yeah, yeah that that uh, we read prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. Even though it was the actual account. Real quick, let's get them gonna go back. Oh, this is on Psalm 73 18. Mm -hmm. Surely thou did set them in a slippery place. That's right. That right. cast them down into destruction. Right, that cast them down. They go to that slippery place again, mm -hmm. then you're at the top, man. Okay? If you're gonna be cast down from this, from this. Okay, go ahead, up. Huh? It's a book of Job, chapter 20, verse 22. Mm -hmm. In the fullness of this efficiency, he shall be in straits. Yeah, in the fullness, that's the peak. Hey, we witnessing that too. This man is straits. You know, uh, this guy Biden, that nigga, he came out and said, uh, uh, any area that's prone to be hit with natural disaster such as hurricane, it's the best answer for them to hit, get maxed up, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That means he in straits, man. He, he, he got no room for error. Hey, our feet have been set in the wide place. Okay? That's safety. Go ahead. Every hand of the wicked. Hey, you at the bottom, right? You got a wide place, you know. You got the no way to take off. Go ahead. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Right, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now we go into the word wicked right there. It's the definition has labels. So we gonna get hands on these devils, man. That's in the book of James too, go ahead. When he is about to fill his belly, yep. the most thou shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Mm -hmm. It shall rain it upon him while he is eating. That's it, so God's gonna help him with the squad in this place, man. See, our message is the only thing that makes sense with the scripture. You're a Christian, you can't make sense of that. Imagine, give a Christian that to break down. Like a group of people, you hand that to a Christian and say, you got that. His, his, his doctrine can't make sense of that. Neither any of you out there outside of the circle with a Bible, man. Yeah. I found somebody to kick their head in the alley and got their kicked like Terminator. Yeah, that's it. Uh, just to bag up with the brother. Uh, Psalm 7 and 16, his mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Yeah, that's it. The key word that is come down. And again, we can make sense of that by just the milk sign. All right? The Lord is going to send forth that destruction. He's going to come down. He's going to descend down upon Adumi. What's that, Isaiah? I think Isaiah chapter 4. Uh, yeah, come on. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. Yep. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone uh -huh. and cast it into the sea, saying, with great violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down mm -hmm. and shall be found no more at all. Yeah. With violence shall America be thrown down. Yeah, this is not going to, he saw, this is not going to be a quiet transition, man. <laughs> and the Lord going to visit the so-called white man the same way he came into power, through violence. You know, when you consider this man in his pursuit of power, he left nothing but blood and carnage in the way. When we can actually pull up information, you can Google it, you go on the documentation, man. When this man slaughtered the people, he poisoned them. What type of motherfucker is that? He put poison, he put a uh, small pox. In my blanket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gonna read the intro of the uh, book of Old Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says a struggle that began in the womb between twin brothers, Esau and Jacob, eventuates in a struggle between them. It says eventuates in a struggle between their respective descendants. The Edomites and the Israelites. Come on, man. For, Edom, for the Edomites' stubborn refusal to aid Israel, first during the time of the wilderness wandering, and later during the time of the invasion, they are roundly condemned by Obadiah. This little known Ooh. prophet describes their crimes, Ooh. tries their case, and. Known. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it says that little known prophet, it says this little known prophet describes their crimes, tries their case, and Ooh. pronounces the judgment, total destruction. Ooh. Ooh. So good. Yeah. Intro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This is Ezekiel chapter 35, starting at verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in thy time of their calamity. And guess what? That's going to be uh, what Obadiah is speaking of when he says that thy shame shall cover thee. Somebody get there real quick, Obadiah, uh, right verse 10. Real quick. Oh, he's already there. Oh, you're already there. Verse 10. And this uh, Obadiah 110. Or that band against that brother Jacob. Uh -huh. Saints should cover thee. Yeah, because it's all about what? Jacob and Esau, like the brother brought out earlier. You know what I'm saying? But it says, uh, for thy shame against thy brother Jacob. And these are times that the shame is being revealed. You know, Isaiah 47 chapter. All right, now now your power structure is being uh, 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 broken down because now you can't hide behind being the shadow governor anymore because they're, they're like the shadow. You, you know, you, you know if, if, you show, if, if you show that to people, they shame matter. Yeah. They are very shameful of this place. That's it. 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 That's which is to hide her shame. But uh, mm -hmm. America's skirt is being lifted up, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning everything that you've done to the people of the Most High, first the people of the Most High have been made known. All right, now we know who the people of the Most High and we know who the wicked is, mm -hmm. or, or the adversary to the people of the Most High and the things that you've done to them. Yeah. So that shame is being brought up, man. All the sins that you've committed against them. Go ahead, bro. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, because what will make a woman's uh, trust come up? The wind. That's cover thee, mm -hmm. and that shall be cut off forever. That's right. So guess what? That's why we shouldn't fret Esau, man. Psalm 37 tells us they're going to wither away like the green earth, you know what I'm saying? What's the prayer of prayer? So soon they, they, they shall soon be cut off forever. So that's why we should, should pray them. Even though we, we grind with righteous indignation, don't get me wrong, every, every brother do it. You know what I'm saying? But we shouldn't superiorly fret them, which is what? We going out currently, oh, you a, you a devil and what you did doesn't kill him. No, we got to, what the most I said, um, it, it, that's it, that's it. He said it is a righteous thing for me to recompense uh, those that, that trouble me, man. So guess what? It, it's going to be put in the most high's hand. That's it. Verse six. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh. Well, he said, by my word, you know, I put that on me. Right. Yeah. I will prepare thee unto blood. Yeah, I'm going to prepare you unto blood. Mm -hmm. And blood shall pursue thee. That's why numbers tell you what? Uh, the land shall not be cleansed, but by the blood of those who shed the blood, man, which is Esau. Goes back to what? Revelation, when it says, he that killeth with the sword must be uh, uh, killed with the sword. See that? Go ahead. Since thou hast hated has not hated blood. Since you have not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Even blood shall pursue thee. All right. And like a wise man told me, in, in order for you to be pursued, you got to be running. See what I'm saying? So you run. You running from that shame. So that shame is pursuing you. And can I say too, like uh, that that word pursue? You hear that in a high speed chase? No, I'm in mean, pursuit. High pursuit. <laughs> yeah, he saw the criminal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he was over there saying, Oh, you a two ball game. Yeah, yeah, two ball game. That's what they're trying to do. 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 Verse 7. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it. Him that passes out and him that runs, returning. Right. That's right. So that's why Colossians what, 3 and 25 to you. For the wrong that you have done, that same wrong is going to come down upon you. Mm -hmm. Most I said, that's why I'm going to do this. And you got that's it. That's it. No, the same thing got to drink from that cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then get what? You going to drink dope? You got to reap what you sow. Reap what you sow. Relationship 6 and 7. That's beautiful. And you got to reap what you sow. Hey, hey, look. Ain't no way you, you can fuck with the Lord's people and get away with it, though. That shit, that look. We are, we, are, we are the apple of the most high eye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, hey, look, you can't, you, you, look, the same way. Motherfucker, hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say, turn the cheek, mother. No, and my brother, that's fine. You fucking hit, hit me, bitch, I'm gonna hit you back. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It's how it is, and that's how the Lord feel, though. You touch the Lord, people, he gonna hit you back, regardless how people feel, how people think. 
You give you gonna give what you deserve. I ain't tell you though. Know, and guess what? In Revelation, he didn't live in captivity. He should go to captivity. He didn't kill a swore, but the kill the swore. And say how it is. It is what it is. Like, again, what it said, this is what? This is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now question, what does Jacob mean? Mm. What does Jacob mean? It means a plant, plant, but also another definition for Yaqua means a liar in wait. L I E R. So we are awaiting. This is the patience Woo! of the saints, right? Good. Yeah. Good. You know, we talk about karma, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about karma. Get karma, bro. It says um, karma from Edamon Alive, the sum of a person's actions in one life. Which determines his form in the next. Right. Ooh. So so that's what they denote karma to be. But also karma means he makes. Right. So when you break that term down, makes, it means to be. He is to be. be. Who is that? Yahweh. Yahweh is karma. Karma Ooh. is Yahweh. Yeah. So when people say karma is coming upon them, it's Yahweh bringing up judgment. Case in point. <laughs> Karma, karma is the house. Ba Shem Al Shah. Get that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 3, starting verse 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, when I come to the sons of Israel, go ahead, and shall say unto them, The Most High of your fathers has sent me unto you. Right. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Now you gotta think about this. This is correspondence amongst Yahweh and the sons of Israel. Go ahead. And Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. Right. So the Mosai said, I am that I am, right? Now what that promise say, bro? Well, he says, the sum of a person's actions in one life, which determines his form in the next. So it literally means he makes a weapon on Moses, or what did Yahweh tell Moses? And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. Now, keep reading. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me so, unto you. So when Moses went back and reported the name of Yahweh to the sons of Israel, he was speaking in third person. So he said he is, right? So I am that I am is loosely translated in I am that I am is loosely translated, he is. He is to be. You know, that's harm. He makes. He is to be. Yeah. 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 Verse 39, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. So he's telling you I am, you know, going back is he is. So when we come to our people, we're saying Yahweh sent us, he, he is sent us, right? He is to be, the past, the present, and the future. It says, also classified as what? The ancient of days. Go ahead. It says, I, the spirit. I kill and I make alive. I wound and not heal. And this is the point. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's it. That's it. Like I said, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. So what he's trying to do, he's trying to escape, you know, that, that world. You know, he's trying to do a So, just like your brother was bringing out a beautiful point about the karma, all right, which is the most high. And, and he, he's going to send that, everything that you've done, what the scripture says, every idle word, all right, all, all of the things, your, even your actions are going to be weighed. That's, that's that karma coming back to punch you. And we want that karma to be what? Good karma. So we want we want to be pleasing to the most high, which is what? Continuing to, to uh, prophesy, set our face against Mount Seir. Number one, to believe in his only begotten son, man, which is to continue to work the works, man. 
so that great karma can come back upon us, man. But Esau, he's gonna he's gonna get the the, the bad karma, which is the destruction. This is all. Uh, Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, the yep. Most High is not mocked. Yeah, so be not swayed off of the path of the truth, because the Most High is not mocked. You can't just let the words of the Most High. Isaiah 55 and 11, his words shall not return unto the void. Go ahead. And it says, reading back in Galatians 6 and 7, it says, be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, there shall he also reap. So we know what Esau eat him and sown. Right, he, he, he planted them with great robbery, bloodshed in the ground. And that's what he's going to reap, man. And it's the harvest time that he's going to reap, it, man. You know, which, which is total destruction for all the things that he has done unto the children of Israel, unto the earth. You know, the thing, and the things that he's about to do. Destroy the earth. That's it. Destroy him that, that destroy the earth. It's uh, Job 4 and 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Job 4 and 8, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. They Ooh. reap the same. So he's going to reap the same type of captivity that he gave to Israel. You see? He's going to reap He's going to reap the same poverty that he gave to Israel. You see? He's going to reap the same murder, bloodshed that he put in the earth. He's going to reap it. Even when you go to uh, uh, Jeremiah, all right, when it talks about put yourself in array against Babylon, then it say everyone shoot, shoot the arrow, spread no arrow. It says, do one to her, and she has done to you. You see? It's Amos 9 and 13. Behold, the days come, said in Hawa Bashim Yahushai, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, yep. mm -hmm. and the treater of grapes, him that sow it seed. Yep, and that's what you see happening, man. That, 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 that payback. See? That's why scripture says he's gonna lay vengeance on Edom by the hand of his people in Israel. You know, do a good do to them according to my hand. You know? The time of time of harvest, like you said. Yeah, it says, and the treater of grapes him that sow its seed, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt over to those double mix. That's it. That's it. So hey, with that, we're gonna give all praise, his glory, and honor. See you. The house of the dust. Our double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully left. Shalom. Shalom. Peace here. A ball, a ball. Soon. Take the bank account. Take the bank account. Take the bank account. Take the bank account.